Okay, you guys, so welcome back to my vlog. Me and my dad are getting ready to go get lunch. Nobody cooked, so. It's also my last day of work, super, super exciting. So, well, that didn't work. Last day of work, gonna go get lunch before my last day. And yeah, I will show you guys when we get there. Don't you worry, don't you cry. I can promise it gets better. I'm getting close because you could probably not see me but this I don't know if this is gonna make it on anything but today was my last day at my job I am so excited right now my excitedness is probably not showing on the outside but on the inside I am jumping up and down this has been quite a journey it's had some some rough times some not so great times but I am grateful that it is over and I'm so happy boy God is good and I'm just super excited I'm very excited Hello you guys, I'm reporting live from my grandma's house. So Trinice and I are like cleaning it up. We're demo girls. I will show you guys the process that we made and what we kind of been doing and I'll give y'all, I said prog, oh, progress that we made. We've been, you mind opening the door? I think that we're gonna go into a lifetime of home demoing after this, although we've done, this game? yeah. Although we've done not that much work. So I will show y'all. I don't know why I'm so hyped. We're just simply cleaning, but it is very exciting to me. Wow. If we came all this way. What if I can hear something in there? It's this. Oh girl, don't please don't play. Cause I will get my running shoes on. Okay you guys, so this is what we've done. We ripped up the carpet in this room. Let me turn on the light. So we've removed the carpet in here. So we've cleared this room out. We've cleaned up this little spot over here. We also came over here and removed this. We begin to work on the sink. It needs a lot of work and we have masks on. I'm gonna keep that part to myself, but there's a reason why we have these on. Just to keep us safe. You know, it's an older home. We don't know what things exist like 30 degrees in this house. We have ripped up the carpet in the hallway. And then you know, some of the some of the tile came up with the carpet, but that's cool. And then we ripped up the carpet in here. I will try to record us doing some more work today so y'all can see what we've been doing or what we're gonna do. So I'm in CVS now. I'm looking for powdered sugar. I'm not sure if they're gonna have it, but I'm looking for powdered sugar because I'm making some kind of like dessert. I'll try to insert a picture. It's called Charleston Chews. Those things are bomb. So I'm lit. And they do not have powdered. Oh wait, they do not have powdered sugar. So I think I'm gonna have to get it at Sam's Club. And y'all know Sam's Club just has the biggest bags of everything. But it is what it is. Yeah, so all they have are marshmallows, chocolate chips, baking soda, and then I thought this was powdered sugar and I got happy, but it's just regular sugar. So try again to Sam's Club. So I'm getting ready to head to Sam's Club now to get gas and to get a couple other things, but I'm gonna hope and pray they have a small bag of powdered sugar because I do not need a 15 pound bag of powdered sugar. I really don't. Just need like a small, small bag. So hopefully they have that. I am starving, so I'm gonna have to get a snack at Sam's Club. I'm thinking a pretzel. I don't know, that's how hungry I am. I had green juice and water today. That's all I've had. But yeah, it has been a couple days since I vlogged last and y'all saw me say like I was excited to leave my job. I do have a new job because I realized I didn't kind of clarify that, but God is faithful and we are grateful for the job. So yeah, I will see y'all later. Well, you guys, I'm glad I came with my dad because he just said it's not kosher for a man to be in the car and not pump the gas. I don't know if he was trying to get cool points, but 
noted noted for sure that's kind of set the standard a little bit high so if i am in the car and my husband is not gonna pump the gas i'm gonna be like let me know if y'all think he's trying to get cool points or he really he really meant what he said <laughs> Y'all, it is so hard to clean this floor because it's some kind of adhesive stuck on the floor. So I'm just going to try to do my best. I've kind of, you can kind of see it in some spots, how it's still kind of left on the floor, but I'm bleaching it and Swiffering it right now. So <laughs> see how this goes. Back on the grind, don't shake my shine. You could do me wrong. I'm going to be all right because you, you could try to pull me back down, but it's going to take you a while. Okay, y'all, so we pretty much finished. We pretty much finished on the inside. Now we're getting ready to tear down the fence. Well, I'm not tearing it down. I'm hoping my dad tear it down because me and Hammers. I don't think that would be too good of a um, combination or scenario. So I'm just gonna help him um, remove the wood from the fence. I guess I'll stop talking to go help him. So, so good so I got tiger's blood and then wedding cake which is like the perfect combination for me it's like a little bit sweet because of the wedding cake and then the tiger's blood is like cherry so I don't know I love it hey y'all so I realized I never came back after the whole snow cone thing yesterday but I did just want to come ending the vlog but also kind of recapping something I feel that is I guess important for my week or just important in general in my walk with God or in our walk as believers period. And yesterday, I was just kind of thinking about how God has like transformed my prayer life. I don't know how to describe it, but I would pray and expect things from God and just be like, God, I'm gonna put this in your hands, like do the supernatural in my life. Those are the kind of things I pray. But now it's just like even more, I feel such a greater understanding of just like who God is and who I'm praying to. So it's not like I'm just saying empty words to nobody that can change my situation. I'm literally talking to the creator of the universe. Just knowing that God wants to hear from me in prayer and talk to me is just mind blowing. One of the aspects of prayer that I kind of wanted to get into was basically speaking to the enemy because I was one of those Christians in the past that was just like, I knew the enemy was my enemy. I knew Satan was my enemy. And I knew that I didn't like him, but it was never like me speaking back to the enemy or fighting against the things that he was trying to do in my life. I'm going to try to give a little analogy of me and the enemy. So I guess I was the um, the smaller, unpopular kid on the playground. And Satan was kind of like the bigger kid that was a bully and was bullying this person. But when Satan, the bully, would come up to me, I would kind of shrink back. And I knew that there was a dislike there, but... It was never like I had bucked up to the point like, no, you're not going to say that to me. You're not going to do that. But in my prayer time with God now and just like praying for not only myself, but for other people, I'm like, Satan, you have had your fun. You have because there would have been a time where I wasn't going to call you out on the stuff you're doing. But now if you want these problems, you can have these problems. And I was like, whoa, because I was never, never like I'm telling you guys, I was never like that. In my prayer time, I'm just like, Satan, your eternity is going to be spent in hell. You're trying to do whatever you can to get me down bad. 
but God has already fought every single one of my battles and won. So I'm going to stand in the power of his son, Jesus Christ, and you are going to lose time after time after time because at first i would used to be like dang in my mind i don't think i would pray this but i would be like i kind of hope the enemy stops messing with me news flash to myself now he is not so now i'm like okay you're gonna keep messing with me you're gonna get these problems that whole thing happened and i had that thought yesterday night right i go to church church was great today church was great it's good all the time it's great all the time but church was good today so the pastor was kind of talking about us being confident and walking boldly and who he's called us to be. And then he starts talking about the enemy and how the enemy tries to get us down, to get us defeated and messes with us. But you have to get to a point where you're like, no, I see what you're doing with Satan and it's not going to work. You can keep trying. And the harder you try, the more I'm going to press into God, and the more I'm going to lean into God, and the more I'm going to recite God's word. Just when stuff starts happening, he was just mentioning like, speaking the word over yourself like satan literally has no victory jesus has won the victory already and we get to walk in that victory because he's won it and then when satan starts to mess with you and try to make you feel where you just like do you want these problems i can give you these problems if you really want these problems and i i'm telling y'all i was never a christian i was like satan i see what you're doing and it's not gonna work and it's just like now i'm like but if y'all are anything like me and you were just like man I don't know what it is about my prayer life. Like I don't, cause that was me for a long time. I really did talk to God. And I think I kind of felt like coming to God had to be a certain way. Like you had to come put together and not just realizing he's okay with your raw emotions, your raw thoughts. You can bring those all to him. But then also getting to the point where I'm like, God, I'm going to stand in the authority that you've given me. You said I can come boldly to your throne of grace. So I'm going to do that. I'm telling you when he lights a fire in that thing, you may be praying for a long time. That's one thing too. I thought prayer had a time limit. I'll be looking at the clock sometimes like I am a long-winded prayer, but I have found so much joy in praying and talking to God and believing God for things and, you know, studying his word and learning his word and saying that in prayer. This energy of me letting the devil know what's up will always be here now. I don't know why I waited so long, but this, it is fun and it is freeing. Like Satan literally... He's not going to win. Like he's not only is he not going to win, he's going to be in hell forever. He can't stop what God has put his hand on. I did want to share that about my prayer journey and I probably will make a separate video talking all about that. But yeah, y'all, I've just been so encouraged in prayer this week and I hope that you guys are as well. Everybody that's watching this video, I am praying for y'all, for God to touch y'all, for him to light a fire in your prayer life and for you to just experience joy and peace that comes in having a lit prayer life. Thank y'all so much for watching. I will see y'all in the next video. Bye. Don't you worry. Don't you cry.